Hello everyone, welcome back to the Budget Sportsman. Tonight I am down here by my favorite trout stream way back in the woods. And I have not had a lot of opportunity to go trout fishing this year. Uh, but tonight I had just a few hours to slip out of the house and get down here and do a little bit of fishing. You have to excuse me if I'm swatting and poking. The bugs are really bad tonight. It's a humid, uh, just muggy kind of evening and the bugs are really bad. Now the place that I'm standing is a place I've always thought would be really neat to come and camp down here by the creek. But unfortunately here at State Game Lands, you're not allowed to camp on Pennsylvania State Game Lands where I am right now. But what I want to do tonight is my goal is not to catch 20 fish or the biggest fish. I just want to catch one or two keepers and then I've got a brand new backpacking stove that I want to try out and just maybe fry up some fish right here uh, by the edge of the creek. Now, one thing I should mention is this creek is significantly lower than the last time I was down here. It's probably been two months since I've been down here. It is significantly lower. I don't know if that's good or bad. We'll just have to give it a try. The good news is uh, I actually did take a couple casts before I had the camera out at just a tiny little stream that flows into this one as I was on my way down. And very first cast, I caught a tiny little brook trout, not big enough to keep, but really cool that I caught one on the first cast. I uh, also saw a porcupine walking down here, so it's already been a good night. Uh, I'm gonna get my fishing gear out, put my chest camera on, and let's do a little fishing, see if we can't catch a native brookie. If you guys happen to watch my trout fishing video from earlier in the spring, uh, this little hole right here is where I just pulled several out right in a row. So I'm hoping I can do the same tonight. That was only the second cast, and that right there is exactly what we came here for. Just a beautiful native brook trout. I don't know if you can see that. Let me see if you can give you a better view of it there. Oh dear, let me focus. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful brook trout right there. That's what we were looking for, and uh, he's plenty long to keep, so sorry bud, but you're gonna be supper. Well, that was really fast. That was only my second cast. I actually had a bite on the first cast and then the second cast I got him. So actually that really is great because now I've got plenty of time to maybe just fish a little bit more and then make supper. I'm gonna keep fishing. I might keep one more to eat, um, but just definitely wanna see if I can catch a few more even if I throw them back. So let's keep fishing. I just missed it on the first cast up in that hole. As soon as the lure landed, I just saw this fish dart out, grab it, and go back. But I must have had a little bit of slack in my line and really didn't get the line set and he got off. There we go. <laughs> he took it kind of slow that time. <laughs> I thought I had a big old trout for this part of the stream. That would be a big trout, but that is a fall fish or a chub or I don't know what you want to call it, but not what I was after by any means. So we'll put him back and maybe go for another trout. That's chub number two, fall fish number two, whatever. Uh, I can actually tell because it bit the exact same way, a slow bite and then uh, just a different way of fighting. But hey, it's something, but not what I want to eat tonight. So I'm glad I got one trout. Well guys, I did fish upstream a little bit. Didn't catch anything, didn't really have much bites except some just real tiny little things that were chasing my lure. Um, but like I said, I don't have a lot of time. So I'm gonna go ahead and cook up that fish and uh, if there's any time after that, then I might take a few more casts. But I didn't carry any water down with me, but I did bring my Katadyne Bee Free filter. 
So I'm just going to get some of this nice flowing water here. We're slowing over a lot of rocks, scoop it up, and uh, have a nice cool drink. That's good water, just drinking it straight through the filter. It's not as cold as what I thought it might be. We're getting definitely into the summer now, but uh, still some nice refreshing water to drink. So let's go cook our fish. All right guys, so I got my brook trout here ready to clean up. And uh, if you've been following along for a while, you might remember that back right about Christmas, there was a sale on this knife here. It's the Gerber Vital and um, I picked one up, I think for $21. I got a video about that on my channel. I'll leave a link for it down below as well. I think it's regularly a little bit more than that. But anyways, this is an interchangeable blade scalpel knife that I picked up mainly for processing deer actually, uh, for gutting and, and skinning and that kind of thing because you can just throw away the dull blade, put a new one on, and it's super, super light and compact. So some of you have been bugging me about a review on this for a while, and this isn't gonna be an official review, but I am gonna actually uh, go ahead and gut this fish with this Gerber Vital knife and see how it does. Now this is the first blade I've had on it and I have used it for some other things, but I'm gonna go ahead and uh, gut this fish up and I'll get back with you and uh, let you know how it does. I kinda sorta got that fish filleted up. Uh, that was definitely an experiment using this Gerber Vital here. Uh, it's sharp enough, um, but I wouldn't necessarily make it my go-to uh, fillet knife, that's for sure. Primarily just because the blade is so short. Um, particularly for filleting, it's not great. So. I did not get the skin off my fillets. In fact, if you were to look at these fillets, I'm not gonna show them to you, you'd probably laugh at me. Uh, one thing is this was a little bit tricky using this knife, but also I found that working basically at ground level uh, with a rock for a cutting board didn't make the process any easier. But if I was in a survival situation, I can tell you what I've got going on would be just fine and dandy. Now, uh, let me show you the stove that I wanna use, and I'll, I'll try to give you a little bit more of a close up of it here in a second. but. Uh, I got this stove, it's, it's kind of a knockoff of the MSR Pocket Rocket, uh, and I got this for Amazon for under $10, I think it was $8 or $9. Uh, one of the things I like about this stove is it has an igniter built right into it, as opposed to the Pocket Rocket, which doesn't. And if you're not familiar with this kind of stove, it screws onto one of these canisters. Uh, this is from Coleman. Um, this is a little bit bigger of a canister. Some of them are about half this size. And you just screw this canister. Oops, better make sure my valve is off here. Um, you just screw this canister, uh, the stove right on top of the canister, and you've got heat. Now, now some of you have been around the channel for a while, you probably remember a video probably two years ago where I made a, a video about using the soda can stove with alcohol or uh, the heat fuel additive. Those stoves are great. They're super lightweight, uh, but they do have some drawbacks, and one of the drawbacks is you can't vary your heat. Uh, you waste fuel because you, there's really no way to put the flame out. There's a lot of things that just weren't ideal for me, so I decided to try this stove here. And uh, I have boiled water on it, but tonight I'm gonna actually try to do some cooking because I can put this on low heat. So what I've got is I've got some butter over here. I'm gonna melt some butter in here. And then I've got a little baggie with some seasoning. This is a, a particular spice mix. It has uh, like a citrus flavor to it, garlic and that kind of thing. And so I'm gonna put some butter and this spice mix in this pan and uh, flop my fish in there and see what we come up with. I am certainly no cook, but we're gonna have fun trying. So here's a closer look at the stove. Over on this side, you've got a valve. Open that up. You should hear the fuel start to hiss. Light it, and boom, there you go. Once it gets good and hot, I should be able to turn this down a little bit. Because that's, that's gonna really go too fast, to be honest with you. Wow, I've got it turned way back now. That was actually too much. I probably scalded my pan there because I didn't have anything on the inside. But I've got it turned way, way back now. And uh, hopefully you can see my butter melting in there. Got a good bit of butter in there. Wow, I'm amazed. I just keep turning it back farther and farther and it just keeps burning. So that's exactly what I was looking for. It's a very low heat now. Let me put it back on there now that I got it straightened out a little bit. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and just put my seasoning in there with the butter, I think. 
Here we go, got my buttery mixture there with my seasoning. Got this turned back a lot lower. And I'm gonna go ahead and throw my fish in. Well guys, you're going to have to forgive me. I thought I brought enough cam uh, batteries for the camera, but apparently I didn't. Uh, some of them weren't charged that I thought were. So I'm finishing this up on my phone, but uh, this is looking kind of interesting. I'm not sure why it's curling up so much. Uh, probably because I didn't cut that one side really off the bone. It's still uh, part of the skeleton in there. Um, but honestly, I think that that meat's probably done and ready to pull off the bone. Yeah, look at that. It just all fell right off. So um, I might get this out and pick it apart a little bit. This side's a little thicker. I'm not sure if it's going to be done or not, but um, I might give it a try. I might leave this thick piece in there and start on the little one. I'm going to be eating right out of this bowl with my fingers, so I've got the, the uh, stove turned off now. I'm going to just go ahead and give some of this a try. Mm. It's actually really good. That seasoning in there gives it a nice flavor. It's uh, nice and white. Just kind of pulling up off the bone there. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's actually really good. Well guys, this is really good, but it's going to take a little bit of time for me to kind of pick it off the bone here. So I'm going to go sit up against a tree or find a log somewhere and enjoy this, and I'll get back with you when i got it all cleaned up. Well guys, I have got to wrap up, pack up, and get out of here. So I've got to wrap up this video, but I've got a couple things I want to say, and I really hope that you'll listen to what I have to say. You know, there's a lot of things that I could look at about tonight and say, yeah, this just didn't go quite as planned. You know, maybe I could say I didn't catch as many fish as I had hoped. I could certainly say, man, I'm bummed that um, my camera batteries died so quickly and I ran out of camera batteries. It's kind of unusual. Um, I could say I'm bummed that I had my heat too high on my stove and I ended up uh, burning some of the butter and the seasoning right at the beginning. I could say... I'm bummed that I, I didn't bring any silverware and I was up to my elbows in butter eating that fish. I could say, well, I'm bummed that I didn't bring a napkin to at least wipe my fingers off when I got done and I had to use my pants. There's a lot of things that I could say that maybe didn't go right about this evening. But the thing is, as a man, I'm a firm believer in the fact that every once in a while, as a man, we need adventure. And I was really feeling that this week, really feeling that I needed to get out and I needed to do something different and something fun. And so when I got a few hours this evening, I took that opportunity. And the truth be told, if I choose to focus on the positive, this evening was an absolute amazing success. I got out, I enjoyed creation, I saw some neat things, I caught fish, I caught a legal fish that I could cook, which was my number one goal. Um, while I didn't cook the fish perfectly on my new stove, I learned some things about how the stove operates, how low I can go that will hopefully help me to do a better job in the future. And the truth be told, that fish, smothered in butter and that that citrus kind of seasoning spice seasoning was really really good i'm just going to tell you it was delicious and so while this may not be the best video i've ever made there may be some audio or video problems or maybe you all are going to laugh at me because i absolutely did a horrible job playing the fish i don't know the truth is, this was a success in my book. I had a fantastic evening. I got out of the house. I had some adventure. I ate some fish out of a beautiful stream. And it's something that I've wanted to do for a long time. So, with that said, I choose to focus on the positive. This was a fantastic evening. I hope you all enjoyed following along with me. And until next time, remember to get off YouTube and get outdoors into God's great creation.